Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So I got a quick one for you today. I apologize, it's been a while since I put a video out, but I've been super busy and you guys have been super busy too. That's why I've been so busy. So <clears throat> I wanted to show you this uh, default point number thing that um, I ran into. A couple people didn't know about it, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So um, you know how when you're, you're, you open up a job, and whatever you shot yesterday, let's say you were in Topo Point and you were at point number 2,500, right? So you start a new job today, you go to Topo Point, it's at 2,501. You're like, you have to remember to go back to whatever point number you want. Same thing with Zerb Control Point, right? You shoot some control points in, you get up to about five, 10, 12 points. You start a job tomorrow, it starts at point number 13 on the Zerb Control Point. Um, you know, rapid points the same way, continuous topo points, all that other stuff. We all have those little issues, right? So what Trimble does is they try to put these in a point group, right? So uh, each point number range goes with a classification of point. So let's say that as our control point should be one through 100 or maybe one through 999 and that's your control points. 1000 on out, uh, maybe your topo points. So how you're doing those points uh, will depend on the group that you're in, right? So as we're doing um, observer control points, topo points, and my dog just came up here. Well, she's doing, but anyways. Um, so it's really aggravating, right? When we go from point number to point number to point number it, and job, 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 it gets really confusing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do default points. So hopefully this is gonna make sense to you. First thing you need to do is create a template. That's the first thing I would do. Um, that would make it a whole lot easier on you. So if you go in, and I've already worked on mine, if I go to Mississippi East, and I go to additional settings, yours probably says off right now. I've turned on point name range for job, and I said one through 20,000 is my point numbers. Okay, so my measured points, which would be like my topo points, they're gonna be um, in the thousands. Okay, keyed in points is one, Kogo points is one. That's where it's all gonna start out at. You could put everything in here as one if you wanted to. You've got a stakeout points, construction points, you've got default point names for lines, for polylines, for arcs, uh, scan names, scan points. You can start it all out any way you want to, right? So I've got mine set up just good enough for what we're doing today. We'll say accept. So accept. So what I'm gonna do is go into job, and I've already been playing with this, so let me uh, end this job. No, I don't wanna power down the receiver. Uh, Mississippi East is a template that I'm using. So if I said test, and I said point, test point one, enter, accept. Yep, I already know I've been using it. Uh, let me get out of those templates. Let me go to measure, Mississippi single base, measure points. Okay. So I'm gonna connect up to Mississippi single base. And there is a uh, connect automatically to mount point in the GNSS contact, so you don't have to hit that button like I just did. Anyways, okay. So you notice my point name for measure points start out at 1000. If I pull down and I say observe control point, you'll notice my point name is one. So let's go ahead and let's do a CP. So I'm not gonna let it sit here and run for 180 epics because neither you nor I have time for that. So I'm gonna stop it. Yep. Okay, so um, let's go and let's just shoot another one real quick. I'll do the same thing, it's on point number two. Let's stop it, yes. Now you notice it's on number three, okay? So let's go to topo point, it goes back to 1000. Let's say I'm shooting edge of asphalt. Wow. I wish. Edge of gravel. I have gravel driveway, not asphalt driveway. Same measure. Okay. Store that. Actually, I'm going to hit the auto store. So let's move up to the next point. Okay. So if I was to say edge of gravel, measure. Store that. Decisions. 
I'm underneath the tree. And it's probably fixing to pop, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. Go ahead and take it anyways, because I'm not worried about it. I'm trying to show you guys point numbers, not get show you the class or, or quality of point, right? Okay, so we'll notice that we're on, I'll just go ahead and hit measure here. And it jumped out, poor precisions. Okay, it took a shot. Okay, so now then, let's go create a new job. New, yes, I'm gonna end that one. No, I don't wanna power it down. I'm going to say test point two. We're still in Mississippi East. We're still in that same template. You'll notice that additional settings says point range. I'm gonna say accept, yes. We've only done this video like four times. Batteries on mics, everything else. Okay, so let's go to measure. Mississippi, measure points. Okay. Yeah, I should take the time going to the service dial and fix that mount point thing, but let's go. Okay, so I start a new job. My measure points is now at a thousand. Remember, I got those shots a while ago. And if I go to observe control point, it starts out point number one. So you can see that that sets your default point numbers to whatever you want for each job. Set it in your template, you're good to go. Every time you start a new job, the point number is gonna start out where you wanna start your jobs at. If you wanna start your jobs out at point number one, set it at point number one. That's where it's gonna start it out at, okay? Whoo, guys, I hope this helped you. I've been super busy, you guys been super busy. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. That help, helps me uh, push this on down the road. I'm gonna to try to get some more videos out for you guys. I got some more podcasts I'm working on, I'm trying to get lined up. Um, so anyways, as always, God bless. Love you guys. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully won't be too far away. <laughs>